everyone, welcome to Sass and Class Boutique. I'm Letty, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today is a blast from the past Monday. And I thank you for being here for, with me today. And this is our little project for today. Um, I have um, these little, um, you call them little chopsticks. And I wanted to put them in something and I wasn't sure what, but I wanted it to be cute. And this is what I have come up with. Um, I think her name is Angela and she is in uh, one of the YouTube videos and uh, she had made something like this as well and I thought it was just a cute idea and I was gonna try it and um, it actually fit these perfectly so I have a, a bunch of these to give out to um, people um, and so let's get started with it okay so what you're gonna need is I'm gonna put that to the side for right now what you're gonna need is a piece of cardstock that measures um, three and a half by two and three quarters okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my um, my uh, scoreboard and we are gonna score this at five eighths of an inch and at one and five eighths and then two and a quarter and then three and a quarter and then we're going to turn it on the short side and we are going to um, score at half an inch and then at two and a quarter okay and that's it for the scoring I'm sorry for hitting the camera I apologize and we are going to go ahead and score these I actually need my bone folder. Let's see for a minute. Sorry for the reach round. And we're just gonna score all of these. Fold, burnish very well. Just like this. And this one. Okay. So on this one, we do not need to cut anything at all. What we need to do is we need to put sticky strip right here and I'm gonna use sticky strip because I want something that's gonna hold very well because this is a small box it's gonna be very very tight so I'm gonna use a sticky strip and today Tuesday um, is our new catalog launch um, and they have new things coming out um, for a sticky strip it's um, actually a tear um, type of tape double-sided tear tape it's not sticky strip like this anymore but um, I'm gonna have a video for today um, I'm actually doing the video for Monday today because I got backed up yesterday but um, I'm gonna have another video out today and um, it's actually gonna be I'm gonna be showing the catalog so you guys stick around for that so you guys can see all the new things that are coming out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it to the other the other side of it just like this stick it down really well um, so yeah you guys stick around and then um, watch my video for the new launch of the book and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab it and we're gonna pinch it just like that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a hole punch and I'm gonna punch a hole right in the middle just like that and I'm also gonna do this side pinch in just like that and put your hole in the middle okay and then what you want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my little um, chapstick thing right in there just like that and then what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna grab some of my Baker's twine my white Baker's twine and I'm gonna bring it through through the hole right here let's see if it come through here just like this like that and then you're gonna bring it underneath and through this side as well okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it tight I'm going to bring enough out so I can make a bow, like on this one right here. 
what we're going to do is we're going to pull it tight just like that and it closes on its own once you pull it tight and I'm going to ahead and put a knot first like that and it keeps it close for me put this to the side and now I'm going to make a bow And then you're going to trim your tails. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a scrap sheet of the of the designer series paper. And this is um uh, back in the day designer series paper. And it was more like for um, to do cards for men and stuff like that. But I thought it was really cute. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to not use this pattern. I'm going to use the pattern in the back. Um... And I'm going to punch out two of the Petite Petals um, Itty Bitty, sorry, Itty Bitty Pack Set, the two, two little flowers from it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, actually I already had some done. <laughs> I didn't even realize that, but hey, let's do it again. Um, okay, so bring in, push these down, bring in some, um, dimensionals get my Pearson tool I'm gonna get two rhinestones oh I forgot to cut it hold on just a second Let me cut one real quick I thought the other side of this paper was really cute and then I'm going to bring in some um, mini glue dots. I was not prepared for this video. I just got back from Toddler Tuesday <laughs> at the mall that I usually do Toddler Tuesday. And I was not prepared for this um, video. But hey, we're going to go ahead and do it, right? We're winging it. That's the good thing about Stampin' Up. Everything is there in front of you and everything coordinates and you don't have to even think about it. You just make it and keep on with it. Keep on trucking. All right, so went ahead and put my little flowers there. And that's it. That's your whole box, actually. So I thank you for being here with me today. Any of the dimensions and everything will be in my tutorials. I'm a little bit backed up on my tutorials. I haven't been feeling very well. I've had my uh, my migraines. But um, I am going to update my tutorials today, my tutorials page. So the dimensions and everything and products and all that stuff that you need it will be there. Stick around for my next video for um, the actual catalog that I can show you inside now. Which this is the, the new catalog and everything that we have in it. I will be having, um, I will be doing that video today as well and posting it. So you guys stick around for that um, and, uh, and all of that. And I thank you for being here with me today. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.